All right, I made an impulse purchase at the shop today. So I was at Meyer, and they had Crimson Vow, with one left of Crimson Vow, and a uh, new Capenna. And given that I've opened three Capenna collector boxes, I felt that again, I have a draft box of this, and I opened the two bundles and a collector box. Like, ah, I'm out, I'm overstock. Basically, I went, well, eight packs is 40 bucks. 35 and I need a new box And then like it has you know Essentially you can do this maneuver And have a pinup of Valdarian lady Yeah, that's the old bundles um older model uh, I basically bought this because I need well it's packs but two I have a, the, was it the sticks one that needs one of these, so I'm actually just going to throw that out. And then I need another one of these, I have one that's a couple that are failing, so I actually just bought this for kind of just parts. Alright, so we got the mana pack, Sigardia summons. I might not even open this, I'm not even going to lie. Um, I have another video, maybe? You can check it out. Art card, basic land. Oh, that's why we're here. Yeah, these full art basic lands. Yep, garbage, 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 garbage. Ceiling curtains, maybe? List slot? DDS, is that like dual decks or something? You know, I gotta unclutter my space. Hold up. Foil list, rare, chaff. Yeah, I'm not like kind to this set in the least. I don't even care. Doomed to vampire. Swamp. Cigarette. Garbage, garbage, garbage. I might not have that card. Garbage. Blood vial, all right. Treasure token, but it's not double faced. Griff rider. I'm pretty sure I just put this in a deck. Ooh, foil mountain, neat. Garbage, 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 garbage. No, oh, here we go. Break the teeth and Seraph. Lay's attendance, a Kusuv, and a double face card. Alright, some more Garbo. Um, I am probably... Get this land is flat. Maybe up a... I might be at a couple bucks. I don't know, man. This, this, mm. Garbage, 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 garbage. Welcoming vampire. That's alright. A buddy, I actually uh, gave a buddy, I had a foil one, a welcoming vampire he needed for a deck. So, like, it does have some use somewhere. I don't remember what. Planes. Garbage, 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 garbo, garbo, garbo. Olivia herself. There might actually be some value. Oh, I don't know though. It could be like a dollar, and that's the and that's the value pole. I don't mean to like shit on this set too much, but like, you know, I do need to buy a set box of like this or Midnight Hunt. Ugh, ugh. The idea, just I just should just buy a stack of these lands. You know. About 15 of each one, and just have like a full spooky set. Ooh. Garbage, garbage, garbo, 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 garbaggio. Ooh. Breath Paper Sarah. Alright, for some reason, storage face filled up again. I just deleted a giant Facebook cache file. Who knows? Uh, that last pack Cultivator Cloths, Investigator's Journal, sealed, sealed clad in the mountain. So, like, there wasn't anything real cool there. Uh, 
So yeah, let's see how much we lost. All right, so this is that bundle, and I just don't even do segues anymore. All right, so I pumped in, and so I paid thirty-five dollars. I got twenty-four forty-three ish in cards. So I'm actually kind of blown away um, that this value is this high. I was expecting fifteen dollars total, which Weirdly, uh, almost $20 of it I don't own. Um, Welcoming Vampire. I don't have this particular printing. I've got the other one that's worth less. Um, man, I need to get more double feature. Um, Olivia. Oh no, wrong printing. Alright, I lied. I had the promo selected. So it's like $23 with 18... It's like two dollars less. It's fine. You know, four dollar card. I was right. She's a heavy hitter for the Innistrad sets. If it's not a double feature pro a foil, this is this is this is a mm, yeah. Nah, man, this is hot shit. Which is surprising because I have Cultivator Claw. I didn't even know this card existed. Never even heard of it. It's seven dollars. So like even better. Oh, it has a double feature version. God, I love the I love the double feature art. Uh, some of it looks kind of like ass because it's just other. It's like chef's kiss. Um, so yeah, I got eighteen dollars in that thirty five dollar box. Which spo so again for those in the back, always buy singles. But when gambling with Crimson Vow and Midnight Hunt, only losing. $13 is a good deal. I've opened, like, so my shop does Friday Night Magic with Commander. The, there isn't prizes. You just get a promo and, you know, a promo off the shelf and a, and a $5 pack or less, right? I've grabbed Midnight Hunt packs, so like a $5 value, and there have been 67 cents in the cards. Like, this, these two sets have no real value. Uh, Meat Hook... And was the wedding invitation, I guess, this Cultivator Colossus card that I didn't know about? Um, oh, what the hell is that one? Is that one not Mercule? Uh, air. Hold on. It's a... Uh... Man, whenever I see double feature, I, the Rocky Horror just plays in the back of my head. Double feature... Hmm. Tax rule. Right. I'm pretty sure what's ta what's tax rule in other printings? Uh. Yeah, so this this one is like $10. You that's disgusting. You know, uh, 15 for the promo. 22, the promo and foil. 70, so 13 for, so the double feature version, non-foil is not the biggest one. But in foil, it's 76 goddamn dollars. I just have the non-foil. I got Tox Roll and Meat Hook in my double feature box. Like, it's, I've got like, like the two or three best cards in the set. Um, so... These sets, I can't recommend them unless you're getting them with steep discounts. And $35 for a Crimson Vow bundle. Honestly, $20 are bust. I'd say $20 is about my break even. Like, yeah, like here, I got $20 in new shit. Because you can see, like, Cartographer Survey I got in foil. I didn't have it in foil. So there's, like, $0.20. Cents. Um, but you can see, like... The foils I don't have, some of them, which is weird. I mean, I, mean, I guess I only got one Crimson Vow collector's box. So, <clears throat> don't buy these products. Unless you're getting them for, like, steep discounts. Like, I'm talking $70, $80 set booster boxes. If you're not getting these things for, like, 50 to, like, tw you know, between 30 and 50% off, I wouldn't touch them. And the lower the like the value, like the lower the cost of the box, 
like these like the pre-release kits for these two sets I would not touch them if they were more than ten dollars um, double feature is probably the only thing that might be worth diving into and it's a gamble because it's rares are actually rare it's mythics are really mythic it's foils are extra special because there's no collector box and that's the weird thing with these two sets if you're gonna like dive into them you're better off hitting double feature if you're gonna like open packs but the draft packs so you only get a foil every three packs they're only draft so there's 24 in a box so there's like eight foils you know uh, there's one rare per pack realistically maybe with a foil you get an extra rare like I got a foil Talia right she's 36 bucks for some godless because there's no the foils are actually rare like they used to be you know um, the meat hook was like forty dollars and it's kept its value tox reel is always I think it's dropped a little bit I think tox reel is probably closer to 20 I'd have to actually let's look at the history <laughs> Double feature. Yeah, tox reel is held steady. It's dropped a little bit for the non foil. Its peak was like twenty dollars. It's at fourteen, thirteen, you know. The foil was hundreds of dollars and is now seventy six. So its foil has dropped. So if you're gonna like chase the money and crack the packs with the Innistrad sets hit double feature if you are intelligent and not insane <clears throat> just buy singles um i love double features art i want to do drafts of it i i i know it's a bad draft environment but like <clears throat> the spooktacular vibes i kind of want to get a case of it i don't know if i'm ever gonna be able to buy a case it's, it's money months money months Actually, how much money is that? Double feature. Yeah, I'm going to have Rocky Horror stuck in my head all night now. I'm not going to lie. Uh, $1,000 <clears throat> for a case. Um... Eight dollars a pack, 150. That's gone up. This has been like 145 ish. Oh, Fallout 250 for the collector box. Hmm, interesting. Um, let's we'll see what my store has. I'm not gonna lie, if my store has like 150 dollar boxes for Black Friday, I'm probably gonna buy like three. But I'm a weirdo. Don't do what I do stick to singles. And with that, I thank you for watching this tangent and you have a good day.